Hello and welcome to another Karate Kickstart video. In this video, we're going to focus on IntelliJ. We're going to install IntelliJ and go all the way to writing your first Karate test for APIs. And the nice thing about this guide, it's very simple. Even if you don't know anything about IntelliJ or Karate, this will take you all the way. And there are very few steps. The first thing I'm going to do is install IntelliJ. So I'm typing IntelliJ into my search bar in the browser and like me, you should be able to find this page very quickly, which is where you can download IntelliJ. Now there are two options, the ultimate edition and the community edition. And the community edition is free and it's a good way to get started. And later, or if you have a license, you could switch to ultimate. And in the interest of time, I've already downloaded the community edition and IntelliJ is already there on my desktop. I actually chose the option to have the desktop icon, which is convenient. I'm double clicking on the IntelliJ icon on my desktop to start it and it should come up. Great. That's the welcome screen. And keep in mind, this is a fresh machine just so that I may make this demo realistic and really starting from scratch. We're going to choose the option to get from a version control system, which is Git. And I've clicked that. And this is actually simpler than in some other guides, you may see a mention of the Maven archetype, but I'm going to use the karate template on, on GitHub. I'll get to that in a moment. It's simpler actually. You see a message here saying Git is not installed. And that's because as I said, this machine is completely fresh. Um, only IntelliJ has now been installed. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually choose this option on the right to download and install Git. Okay. Because we need Git and it's going to help you also in the future. And what I've done now is go on to the URL of the karate template project on Git. This should be in the video description. And what we're going to do is take the URL and an easy way to get the URL of this project. The Git URL is to go to this code button over here. And if I click this, it's going to copy the Git HTTPS URL to clone this project. So let me switch back to IntelliJ and you can see Git has been installed. And the nice thing about IntelliJ is that we did not need to go and install Git. It took care of that process for us. I'm going to paste that Git URL of the Karate template project. Now clone this project, the bottom at the bottom right. IntelliJ is now opening the Karate template project and while it comes up and it's going to take some time to install and index things and so on. I'm going to go to the top left, the Explorer, explore all the source code folders. I'm going to examples over here and users and opening users dot feature feature dot feature files are karate test files. And you can see that there's no syntax coloring and all that. And I'm now going to show you how to install the official Karate plugin for IntelliJ. That is a must for really working well with Karate. It's pretty simple. I'm going to go to file at the top, the IntelliJ menu here at the top. Yeah, file and settings over here. And I'm going to go all the way to plugins here at the bottom. And I'm going to type Karate over here to search and yeah, I actually have the tab on installed. I need to switch the tab to marketplace in case you don't, it's not switched to marketplace. Okay, great. So now I have switched to marketplace and Karate, the plugin shows up and I can hit this button here to install it. Installation of the Karate plugin is pretty simple and you will be prompted to restart the ID. So I am going to choose the option to restart and IntelliJ just need to kind of reboot and get that plugin started up correctly and so on. And now when the project opens, we should be able to see the Karate syntax. Okay. Let me open the Karate template project, which is now showing up in the list of projects that you can open. And now you see nice syntax coloring for the users dot feature file. Okay and looks pretty nice actually. And by the way, you have JSON coloring and all that, which is very useful for API tests because JSON is used a lot. 
Now, if I attempt to run this file and notice that you can click on this green icons in the gutter here and run either the whole feature or individual scenarios and it's going to fail because as I said, this is a fresh machine and Java is not present. There's no SDK for Java. So that's simple to fix. I'm going to click here at the top left on the karate template, uh, the name of the project, right click and you should be able to find module settings. Okay. And if I just hop over here to the project, you can see this message, you know, again, red text saying there's no SDK. And as you can expect, IntelliJ has a simple way for you to download a JDK, which we need for Java. And it helpfully suggests that version 20 is probably the best choice as it's one of the more recent ones. Great. I'm going to say download and IntelliJ would download it and it would download it after I click the OK button, of course. So OK, and yes, IntelliJ is now very helpfully taking care of installing Java for us, which is great. And now we should be able to run the test, right? And if, depending on how much time it takes to download the JDK, it may take time for these green icons to reappear, okay? but we are all good. Let me click run this test. Of course, with, for the first time, IntelliJ may do a little bit of more warm up, but yeah, it looks good. It's actually running the test and it's making requests to the internet. It's completed. We see, by the way, on the left, you see the test report, the test view in the ID for IntelliJ. One tip here, if you click this button at the bottom right, you can scroll to the end of the log. Uh, make sure you have highlighted the root of the test results. If I click this, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you actually can click on this line, one of the last lines of the log and it opens the HTML report of Karate. So the HTML report of Karate is one of the best things about Karate because you can actually see the HTTP traffic in line in the report. Very convenient, especially when it comes to troubleshooting and so on. So there you have it. We went from a fresh machine, installed IntelliJ, installed Git, cloned the project from GitHub, installed the Karate extension or the Karate plugin for IntelliJ, the official plugin, which is free for the most part. If you want to use advanced features, there is a subscription. And finally, we were able to run uh, a karate test, but before that we did have to install the Java JDK as well. And everything was within IntelliJ. You only had to install one thing, which is IntelliJ and the rest was easy. So hopefully that helped and gets you on your way to writing more advanced karate tests. Check out the documentation and thank you for watching.